All right, someone requested this video on how to buy coins, and I'm gonna use MetaMask. Now, MetaMask only supports Ethereum, does not really support Solana. It has BNB, like um, Polygon, and all those like ERC coins. Uh, BNB is not ERC, but it has ERC in a couple of other chains. But if you use Solana, you'll have to use another wallet that actually um, supports Solana. But it's basically the same process. So we're gonna go with MetaMask because it's the one I'm familiar with. And it's pretty much the same on every, um, basically it's pretty much the same how to swap and buy on every single uh, these wallets. The interface is slightly different, but we're just gonna go with MetaMask. So obviously MetaMask has a lot of chains. And uh, if you're going on a coin that has a, a, that's not on one of the listed networks that you have right now, like these are all the ones I added, you would go add network. And let's say it's on Arbitrum, right? I would just add Arbitrum. You can also search for networks. I would approve, uh, switch to Arbitrum 1, and that switches me to the chain. Now, once you actually switch onto the chain, you still have to import tokens. Because when you add a chain, it doesn't add all those tokens. You have to import your specific tokens. So I'm gonna switch back to Avalanche C chain because I have an example right here. And you have to paste in the contract address, which is right here on Coin Market Cap. On CoinGecko, they have a contract address as well. So when you import a token, I've already imported GMX. Um, I'm going to paste this in. And this one says token has already been added because I've already added GMX on here. But if I didn't add GMX on here, the token symbol would appear and I would actually hit next. And now I can receive GMX token on AVAX. Now, when you go to coins on different chains, you'll have to switch to the correct chain. And how you swap on this is pretty easy. You go to the chain that your token is on, like this is Polygon, you hit the swap button and you want to be able to swap. Now I've been trying to swap for AWT for a while and I have 143 Polygon, so I wanna swap 140 Polygon here and then it'll fetch you a quote here. Now pay very close attention to this quote because sometimes like for these smaller coins like AWT, you won't want to swap it. I can swap for 17,000 AWT, but the problem is that's, a, that's suffering a penalty of negative 26.28%. Now, that's not gonna happen on every coin. AWT is a very small coin with not a lot of liquidity, and most of the liquidity on AWT is at the centralized exchanges, not at these DEXs. So if you believe that price difference is too much, you would just like wait until later you get a, or to get a better price, or you would actually, go to another um, site, connect your MetaMask, and search for it there. So this thing is like, you know, it's negative 26.31%. I've actually checked on all the other like networks as well. And they're also like negative 20, negative 30%. So, you know, let's pretend if this wasn't AWT and it was like a negative 2% difference, I would probably just go ahead and swap right now unless I think I can get lesser slippage. Negative 21%, 26%, I will just swap later at this point. So... And there is a 0.875 MetaMask fee. So let's say I want to look for another one. Uh, you can go to another DEX to look for this. Let's say I go to KyberSwap. Um, and KyberSwap also allows you to do DeFi. So essentially you go to KyberSwap, you would connect your wallet and generally like, you know, you connect up here, it's Polygon POS, and then it'll give you, I think an option. Mine's already set on MetaMask because I connected yesterday. But if I didn't connect yesterday, I would have to select MetaMask and I have my balance right here uh, for MetaMask. And now I have MetaMask and I can actually swap um, my MetaMask. So essentially I would want to swap, let's say I, I'm looking for, um, I wanna swap 140. I don't wanna swap USDT, I wanna swap AWT. And this is how you actually look for, uh, and it'll, and KyberSwap will tell you, each interface is different from each exchange. Price impact is very high, you will lose funds. So I can actually swap for 123,000 AWT, which is actually much worse than, what is this? Oh, I, I want uh, 140, sorry, I, I missed that. So like, it'll tell you that like the uh, price impact is very high, you'll lose a lot of funds, and um, uh, you lose 25.74%, and you get 17,229 AWT. Now, like I said, I checked AWT, they're all about the same, so it really doesn't matter where you get it. The slippage is very high for every single DEX. But if, you know, like, if once you, when you actually get like this high slippage um, problem, when you get this like high slippage problem, um, you will want to check to like with uh, MetaMask itself, you want to like KyberSwap, uh, 
Uniswap, one inch, you wanna do all those things. Uh, because like one of them might actually give you a slightly better price. And this one is slightly better than the, the slippage is like 1% better than what it was, but 25% is still too much. If I found this um, acceptable at like 0.1%, I would definitely swap on KyberSwap. So that's how you kind of like get the best price. You have to check a lot of these aggregators, a lot of the exchanges. Now, the aggregators, if they have these coins, will generally give you a better price because they aggregate all the DEXs together. Usually it's about the same as the biggest DEX on the system, which in this case would actually be Uniswap. But I'm just giving you an example with MetaMask and KyberSwap, how you connect the wallets to, to different DEXs, how you use the internal swap, how you add a chain, and how you add a token. So hopefully you found this video informative and uh, helpful. And if you want more informative videos, like how to take over the world, let me know in the comments of this video and I will make one.